Hi, my name is Donovan and I'm going to be telling you about I Totally Funnies, a middle school story by James Patterson. To get you sped up, this is the third book of a three book series. Jamie Grimm is the main character. In the first book, unfortunately, he lost his family and the use of his legs. After being released from the hospital, he goes to live with his uncle, Mr. Smiley, in Long Beach, a suburb of New York. He gets an after-school job with his other uncle, Frank, at a shop. He starts telling jokes to the customer, and his uncle notices and says, Why don't you sign up for Planet's Funniest Kid Comic Contest? So he does and makes his way all the way to the finals, which are held in Hollywood. Jamie thinks he's going to fail badly. Unfortunately, Hurricane Sam hits Long Beach and everyone is forced to move to the Red Cross shelter. Jamie is supposed to tell everybody jokes to cheer them up, but Jamie thought he was too cool, so he went to a cool kids party and came back at 8. And his family was so upset, they asked him, where were you? And he said, I was fixing my watch and I didn't know what time it was, which was a lie. The next day, everybody was rudely awakened by a man who was looking for Jamie. When Jamie was leaving, everybody was like, Go Jamie! You can do this! So, they took the limousine to the airport. They flew first class to Hollywood. When Jamie was on stage and it was his turn to tell jokes to everybody, he froze and did not know what to say. He didn't remember anything because all there were all popular judges in front of him. Ray Romano, Eddie Murphy, who was the the person who played Donkey in the movie Shrek. And so the next day when it was time to announce the top four people who will be moving on, it went Chatty Patty, Antonio Guerrero, Judy, and Jamie Grimm. Spoiler alert, surprisingly, he made it. To find out who won the trophy, the million dollars, and their own TV show, yes, their own TV show, go to your nearest library or your school library and check out this book, I Totally Funniest, a middle school story by James Patterson. Thank you for watching. <laughs>